Hello, short video, um, just uh, just on my different counters I've got. Um, basically, I've got the Amtron down off the shelf here. Um, I'm going to be drilling another hole in the front of it to put a second BNC. Just happens to be enough room there, and I might just get away with uh, being able to put one in there without overlapping um, or running into the Amtron name or the input. So I might just be able to get one in there. So uh, the reason for that is to uh, put uh, one of these uh, cheap uh, eBay uh, preamplifiers. It, it runs from basically uh, 1 meg to 2000 megahertz and just boosts the input, which is what this could do with. Uh, it's fine if you're using it uh, as a probe to uh, probe a frequency. It's, it's great for that. It's no problem. But if you're using it the, like I am at the moment uh, for uh, running it as a sniffer, then um, it doesn't work quite so well. The antenna's got to be quite large, or the um, uh, the antenna uh, from the uh, transmitter is going to be quite close. Whereas the top one, even though it's a little, it's not built the same spec, uh, the antenna can be a lot shorter and it's much more sensitive. So if I key up, we're on uh, four four uh, four six zero. Let's see the display. Just alter the, dis the um, handy to 460 exactly. So on 460. And they're both doing a reasonable job. The top one is uh, quite slow compared to the bottom one. Uh, the bottom one is almost instant. Where's the top one? Dances around a bit first. Uh, it will become quicker if you reduce the gate time, but then you lose an extra zero. So I've got them set up so they both display in the same amount of digits. So if we reduce the gate time a bit, it should uh, be a bit quicker. Make it a fair comparison. Want the same amount of zeros or digits as we have, as we can see. So, although the um, uh, top counter works fairly well, it's uh, it's quite slow. But it's okay if you just probe in um, a crystal oscillator or something and uh, you just want to know where you are. It works uh, works okay for that. Also a difference in the construction. This is plastic. This is uh, aluminium. And uh, the shielding is much better on this one. Uh, we can put the antenna right next to it and key. And it still works without issue. The top one, however, if we key up now, the display goes. Run key. Oh, I think we've lost some digits. What is it there back there? Doesn't like uh, doesn't like the RF. Dances around like there's no tomorrow. Are you on this side though? If you move it to this side it Seems to work okay, although uh, there might be a slight issue. Turn it off, turn it on. There we go, working again now. But you can see the flickering on the display. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't like the RF at all. Whereas the bottom one is okay. Got to be quite close to the antenna to get it to work. Otherwise, it uh, dances about. You've got to bring the antenna quite close, quite close to it, which is the reason I'm going to be adding the uh, extra socket with the preamp. The top one. Doesn't like RF at all. Possibly down to the uh, 
plastic casing. But the, these two uh, counters I, I use uh, mainly for um, uh, for VHF or UHF. Uh, my other counter is the one over here on the bottom. It's got a uh, crystal oven in there, uh, and it's on the uh, it's on the check at the moment. It's uh, showing it should to show ten meg. It's got a ten meg uh, reference uh, frequency generator built in it, and it's showing ten meg. So I know this one's on. So I use this one for setting my others. So um, that's what we got at the moment. Uh, but it only covers up to 100 meg. Bit of a shame. But it's good for it's good for everything up to 100 meg, and I use these then for anything above. But um, yeah, um, as I said, I'll be uh, I'll be drilling a hole in the front of here. There's plenty of room inside, so I've got one of the um, uh, cheap, cheap and cheerful um, preamps off eBay. Good old eBay again. I think it was like four quid or something like that. I've tried it out, hence the lead and whatever on there. We shall um, try it again. Remove that. Plug that in instead. Turn the power on. So the preamp is powered up and the little antenna And we should be able to do the same with the handy, but a much greater distance. There we go. So you can see how sensitive the top one is. I'm um, ooh, probably around about maybe two foot behind the camera now. And it's working fine. So uh, that's the reason I'm going to be adding the uh, preamp. Top one is still dancing around. There we go. Let's get in there. Quite quite slow the top one, as you can see. We go down to a VHF. There we go. It automatically done away with a digit. Let's see if we can get it back. Gonna be quite slow, I should imagine. There we go. One four five four five zero. But the top, the, the bottom one is so much quicker. It's virtually instant. Doesn't sound a lot, I know. It doesn't sound a lot. Um, the uh, the slowness of the top one, but when you're um, when you're trying to adjust a, a trimmer, and you want to see the frequency alter instantly, it just it's just not not quick enough at all. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching. And um, once I've drilled the hole and installed the preamp in there, works off nine volts. So I'm gonna have to put a uh, a small uh, regulator in there. Um, I'll uh, I'll test it again. Make, maybe make another video.